well, but I do want to get to some X factors and things that I'm looking for here, and I want to start with the Cowboys and Niners. put on the Bengals helmet, too. Oh, I heard him. <laughs> Does he have that on oh. the air? <laughs> Hamilton, put his mic down. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan has it all going on right now, right? His team is red hot, winners of 11 straight, loaded of a roster that exists in the league. And I think even historically good, I'm not even kidding. His play calling has been creative, brilliant, of course, and these guys are all bought in. Look at the effort level on blocks that Hamilton showed us a little bit of this yesterday, so I wanted to sort of detail this. Kittle, Ayuk on this Debo touchdown. This is just last weekend. So these stars for the Niners, they're not just talented, they are all in. They're putting the team first, they're working their butts off, on every play, and there's an unselfishness, and remember that word, there's an unselfishness with these players and who's doing what and when and how uh, that needs to be recognized and could be a big reason that they go all the way. Now, but even with all of those things going for them, I love how Shanahan isn't allowing anyone to get complacent, and he knows what time it is. So listen to him um, from Wednesday. Won a lot of games in a row and done some good things, and um, I think it's easy to look over things, but that's, that's your, your goal isn't just to win those games. Your goal is to be the last team standing, and you got to get better each week at that. And um, sometimes human nature, when you've won so many games in a row, people stop looking at how to get better. They think they've they've arrived, and you just you need to show them on the tape and you need to speak it because players aren't always seeing it that way. They watch their assignment and what they're doing, but they don't always see the big picture. And it's our job to show them that um, what what they need to do to carry out their job at the highest level. I like this a lot. Kyle's been so close to the top of that mountain. He knows better than anyone how quickly it can get taken away from you or carried off in a backpack, which is a joke I like to make here on the show so people don't forget that that happened. Uh, but it, it's a bit of a long soundbite. It's meaningful because he doesn't take any of this for granted. There is so much pressure on him this year because the team is so stacked. And while he does still have you know, the escape lever of being forced to start a rookie seventh rounder at quarterback if things do go south, you know, it's not going to be like, oh, you had the best team ever and you had Jimmy Garoppolo even or a better quarterback. Like You do have a seventh rounder who wasn't supposed to be even be out there. I think Shanahan realizes what he can do for his legacy to win a Super Bowl with a Brock Purdy at quarterback. No rookie quarterback has ever won a Super Bowl. That's that. I've said it a million times. It still exists, let alone a Mr. Irrelevant type guy. So the Niners, they got to take care of business this weekend before we get to sniff any of that. Um, and I want to see how Kyle is in this game. He's got the weapons. He's got the game plan. But he's got a lot to cement his legacy. Is he going to stay loose if things get tight? Is he going to stick to his identity and not let some of the things that have happened in the past creep in? This team is at this point because of who he is and how he coaches this team. This guy's on a roll, and he's probably and hopefully going to stay aggressive. Now, the other side of the matchup is like Thor. Oh! Um, let's talk about the Cowboys. Dun -dun -dun. Boo! Oh, that guy. All right, they have plenty of big names, right? They got plenty of established stars, wearing stars. It's all inception-wise, we get it. But it is a rookie O-lineman that might be the X factor in deciding this one. I submit the versatile Tyler Smith, okay? He starts off working at guard in camp. But when Ty Tyron Smith, a legend, goes down, he moves into the left tackle spot and thrives. It, it was like he was born to be there. He started 16 games there. Then for the Cowboys wild card game for the Bucks, he slid back inside to guard. So while future Hall of Famer Jason Peters got the start at left tackle only for Smith to move back, let me get this straight, back to tackle once Peters got hurt. Do you get that? Does any of that make sense to you? They've been shuffling this thing around all year and it's working. Peters still has not practiced. That's the latest. He's got a hip injury and that means there's a pretty good chance that we see Tyler Smith, get the start at left tackle. And the task of <gasps> dun, 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 containing NFL sack leader Nick Bosa. So if there's one rookie who I'm not worried about shying away from the task, it happens to be this X factor. For starters, he's not going to get rattled by the pressure the media might be putting on him, as reminded uh, by this clip of him on draft day. We're going to go back into the file. Take a look. I try to stay away from the media, definitely. I feel like, you know, everybody has an opinion. It's like, you know, like buttholes, you know, everybody has one. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> like, um... <laughs> no, no. 
Mike McCarthy like knows he's on camera, so he's like, what did you just say? What is going on here? Uh, I've talked to Tyler. He's very thoughtful. I would characterize him as funny, as you just saw, and he's a, you know, a, a nice guy with good vibes off the field. Make no mistake, this is a monster. This is a sledgehammer ready to go uh, in this weekend's game against the number one defense. I mean, when he steps between those lines, oh, are you joking with his pancakes? This is, uh, is that Devin White? Is that all pro Devin White that he lands at? Are you kidding me? He's already built a reputation for delivering what you just saw there, devastating blocks. And you know he's going to try and add Nick Bosa to that list on Sunday. And I've not confirmed. I think that they, I'm not going to make the joke. <laughs> not going to make the butthole joke. Not making it. Okay. Uh, I talked earlier in the week about saw some of the, the issues for the Niners uh, are in coverage, right? They've allowed the most touchdowns in the NFL through the air over the last month, that secondary. So if Tyler Smith is able to keep Bosa away from the DAC, they are going to be in a good spot here. There's going to be tons of opportunities for the Cowboys to hit big plays downfield. But if the O-line struggles and this Niners team is as good as it is and they show up the way that they should and will, it's going to be a long day for Dallas. So I know my eyes are going to be glued on an epic upfront battle. All right, let's go to the other side of the NFC. I'm going to get an arm workout in. This is like legit heavy. It's not like a toy one, just so everyone knows. Like, oh, I'm going to smash my computer like office space. Oh, you're taking your picture. Oh, I get a daily photo taken of me, and I don't know why. Uh, okay, we're going to go to the other side of the NFC. The Giants travel to Philly to take on the Eagles. Is this game tomorrow night already? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we had Eric Weddle on yesterday. Eric Weddle took a lot of grief about this, but we asked him about Wink, right? And I can't help but think that the X factor in the game for New York is the defensive coordinator. All right, Don, let's do this. He's long been regarded as one of the league's top defensive minds from his days back with Eric Weddle in Baltimore. Eric Weddle, who lights up at the thought of his name and then will, like glows about him. Uh, from way back then to this complete transformation of the Giants defense this season. The Giants rank 25th, as you see, in total D. Look at how they rank in top key areas, like the most of the most important ones. Top five in third down D, top five in red zone, and sixth when it comes to generating pressure. They ranked just 29th in that category a year ago. That's an improvement. That is a ding, wink emoji improvement. Um, they went from a sort of punching bag in 2021 to bend but don't break this season. And that's a huge step in the right direction in just a year. It's very impressive. But even with those big improvements, this guy knows his work's cut out for him this weekend against Jalen Hurts. Take a listen to this. Everybody's saying he's having an MVP season, and I, I agree, because he can beat you with his legs. He can beat you just being a drop back quarterback. Uh, he can beat you with a sore, sore shoulder. You know, I mean, he can beat you a lot of different ways. And, and that's a great challenge because, you know, there's there's a few you know, just a few quarterbacks that can do it that way. And, uh, you know, you can have him dead to rights back there in a the pocket, and he's, he's a magician. He'll get out of it. And I, I just really, I, you know, I'm not happy for the guy right now because I'm preparing for him, but you can see the work that he put in the past offseason and where he's at today is, to me, is two completely different quarterbacks. Yeah, kind of like the Giants defense from last year to this year, Don. Uh, that is ultimate respect, high praise from a guy who's been around the game for a long time. And even with as well as Daniel Jones and this offense played last week, I think Wink is going to have to come up with literally the game plan of his life if the Giants have a chance at pulling off what would be a massive upset at the link. Marissa, you can start drinking now. Are you just well, This game being at night is ridiculous. What are we thinking, NFL? Well, they're asking for it. The link's going to be crazy. Uh, but you know what else is crazy? The Giants, Dexter Lawrence, Kayvon Thibodeau, Leonard Williams, they've been turning up of late, so New York's going to have a real chance at making something happen. I'm very excited to hear what Brandon Marshall has to say about this. Now, we saw Wink pretty much erase Justin Jefferson a week ago. He limited the league's leading receiver to just 47 yards in the Giants' wild card win, and that leads me to the X factor. Then let's flip over to the Eagle side of this thing, because if Wink is able to have that kind of effect on A.J. Brown, it's game over. I mean... It's going to create an opportunity for Mr. Heisman Trophy, Devonta Smith, to have a big night. And A.J. obviously stole all the headlines. We talked about a massive impact he's had on the Eagle offense. But the, do not sleep on how dangerous the old Slim Reaper has been this year as well. He, I mean, Devonta ranked ninth among receivers, 98 catches, 
90, sorry, 95 catches, eighth in yards and catches, and, okay, sorry, yards and yak, tied for 12th with seven touchdown catches on the year in just the second year, guys. And he's already established himself as one of the elite receivers in the league. And I just love the NFL Films video where he, it's raining and he puts the towel on his head because he doesn't want to catch cold and he doesn't like the cold, neither do I. And so I feel like we have a bond. I have not won a Heisman Trophy as, like he has, but that's okay. Um, it's not just AJ. He's made an impact and it's been felt heavily and in this rivalry. In the Eagles' first win over the Giants, remember this touchdown? If I remember correctly, this was on a fourth down. This completely broke the game open for Philly. This was the 48 to 22 blowout win, everybody. So I would expect him to play a huge role again because the Giants, they have shown, I'm sorry to say, Marissa, they have shown that they have the ability to take the opposition's number one target. So Devontae's presence is going to make this week's game plan a whole lot more complicated. All right, that's it. Are we done? Brandon Marshall is ready. Taking a sledgehammer and ruining the studio today. Can I make it through? And I, I can't believe seven swings. What do you think? I think literally second swing off the that wall. No problem.